ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's edition of News News. I'm your host, Vons Mesner. Tonight we're coming to you live from the Tanya Harding Capitornasium to bring you the 47th annual Cup of Coffeesville Mayoral Debate. <laughs> tonight's edition of News News is brought to you by Justin's Remote Control Sandwiches. Justin's. Mmm. Sandwiches! <laughs> now, tonight's debate was supposed to be between our two candidates, incumbent Jim Jimmelson and his opponent, Fritz Fritters. But as you're well aware, unfortunately, Fritz Fritters passed away earlier this week in a tragic laundry folding accident. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family. And they are requesting, in lieu of flowers, that bacon donations be made to your local children's hospital. <laughs> now, since we do not have two candidates, Jim Jimmelson is now running unopposed in this election. But even though that is true, a couple of Coffeesville bylaws do state that an official debate must take place before any mayoral election. And so tonight, Jim Jimmelson will be debating <coughs> against himself, Jim Jimmelson. So let's meet the candidates. Up first, there's incumbent Jim Jimmelson. And his opponent, Mr. Jim Jimmelson. Let's begin. You'll have one minute to answer each question. And the first one is for you, Mr. Jimmelson. Please, call me Jim. Jim, this one's for you. Jim, what do you plan to do about the growing hula hoop epidemic in our community? Excellent question, Vons. Vons, let me start by thanking my superb staff for all of their hard work during my past 14 terms as mayor of this great town of Cup of Coffeesville. <laughs> Elbow skyscraper, my second in command, uh, regarding your accident, I just want to say you don't need an actual right hand to be my right hand man. And you never know, you could throw back. Uh, Snake Eyes, my treasure. What can I say? Mo money, mo problems. Am I right? <laughs> and uh, to my secretary, mo problems. I'm sorry, I, I can't give you that raise. <laughs> oh, uh, so in regards to the uh, hula hoop problem, more of the same, lots of electroshock. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Jimmelson. Uh, please, call me Jim. Jim, your rebuttal. Thanks, Vons. Vons, my opponent is resting on his laurels, relying on what is on the surface an impeccable service record. But if we dig deeper, we find that our beloved mayor is a draft dodger who in 1980 transferred to Canadian College AU to dodge the draft and keep his Oxford Club ass out of Grenada. Is this the kind of street trash you want keeping the trash off your streets? <laughs> and Jim, your counter rebuttal. Thanks, Vons. Vons, it's clear that my opponent has come prepared to mudsling tonight because he lacks a strong stance on the issues. So let me address his ridiculous claim. While I did attend AU in Toronto, where I majored in cross-stitch and got my nickname Quilt Chamberlain, I did not have <laughs> to dodge a draft for the war in Grenada. My proof for this? There was no draft for the war in Grenada. My opponent is relying on scandal and lies and is not the type of person you want protecting your family from the hula hoop crisis which grips our tiny community. <laughs> this is just a reminder that tonight's episode of News News is brought to you by Justin's Remote Control Sandwiches, now with less toxins and lithium ion batteries. <laughs> Second question is for you, Jim. Jim, where does the pee go when I flush the toilet? <laughs> Excellent question, Vons. Vons, I'll tell you where the pee goes. The pee goes to the seedy underbelly of Cup of Coffeesville. A place where criminals go to commit crimes. And a place where my opponent goes to cheat on his lovely wife, Boobs Jimmelson. That place, namely, the parking lot of Rudy's Crab Shack. Rudy, I'm sorry, I know you're here. Rudy, uh, your parking lot is the seedy underbelly of Cup of Coffeesville. <laughs> there I said. <laughs> and who with is Jim Jimmelson having an affair and his wife with? None other than their family dog, Mr. Peanut Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you're a bubble. Thanks, Vons. Vons, I came here tonight to talk about the issues to talk about the people of Cup of Coffeesville and what they need to do to get through their daily lives. Mr. Peanut Butter is a beautiful dog. 
<laughs> Despite the name Mr., Mr. Peanut Butter is a female dog. If I believed in interspecial love, I might be inclined to show Mr. Peanut Butter the three-day weekend of her life. But I do not, in fact, believe in interspecial love, and what's more, I do not cheat on my wife. Jim Jimmelson, once again, is relying on false slander to sway this election, and I, for one, will not stand for it. The citizens of Cup of Coffeesville deserve better. And Jim, you're counterable. Dog fucker. <laughs> <laughs> once again, this debate is brought to you by Justin's Remote Control Sandwiches. Justin's. Ah! Oh God, there's so much blood! You take that shit to the crime scene, bitch. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Poison! <laughs> and now our third question. Jim, this one's for you. Jim, what are your thoughts on the energy crisis in this country? Excellent question, Vons. Vons, you may recall that early in my administration, I outlawed light bulbs in Cup of Coffee. So. <laughs> During those dark times, don't pardon the pun, okay? Okay? <laughs> I realized candles just don't cut it and aren't very good. That's why I reinstated light bulbs and made it mandatory for all homes in Cup of Coffeesville to have at least 10 working light bulbs and no more than four smashed and or burned out light bulbs. And I'm proud to say that I can verify that that number is correct in writing today. Now. Nowsville. Who's got a pen? Because I'll write it down and I'll sign it James Marguerite Jimmelson. <laughs> Jim, your rebuttal. Thanks, Vons. Vons, allow me to shed some light, pardon the pun, on the true nature of this evening's debate. We've all been led to believe that Fritz Fritters died in a freak laundry folding accident. But that's what Jim Jimmelson wants you to believe. But what I, Jim Jimmelson, know is that he, Jim Jimmelson, killed Fritz Fritters so that he could run unopposed in this election. He broke into the Fritter's finished basement while Fritz was taking a cat nap and injected a fatal dose of liquid heroin between the pinky toe and ring toe of his left foot and then sprinkled laundry around to make it look like an accident. <laughs> I demand that this debate be stopped immediately and that Jim Jamelson be placed in police custody at once. <laughs> so that's a strong accusation, Jim. Jim, you're, you're counter -level. Bonds, I believe in the truth. It's what the citizens of Cup of Coffeesville deserve. When my opponent was lying, I was the first to point it out. But now that he's telling the truth, I cannot deny what he has just said. I killed Fritz Fritters to secure my 15th term as your mayor. And the justice being served to me this evening by Jim Jimmelson seems awfully ironic. <laughs> I sincerely apologize to you, Vons, to the citizens of Cup of Coffeesville, to Boobs, Elbow, Snake Eyes, Mo, and Mr. Peanut Butter. May God have mercy on my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I think we can all appreciate your honesty tonight. Thank you, Vance. <laughs> Hello, the police? <laughs> this is Vance Messer. No, the other one. No, the other one. Yes, that one. Jim Jimmelson has just confessed to killing Fritz Fritters. I think you should come down here in one of those, uh, woo cars and take him away or kill him or something. Okay. Super. <laughs> no, I had a big lunch, thanks. Well, that's the bottom of the lesson of the movement. <laughs> I'm Bob Mesner. Yes, that one. <laughs> Thank you.